And, and also, I think you mentioned about com comparing yourself to other people. That's a very dangerous game. And I always think just focus on your own race, run your own race, and that's the best thing. I think it's a great idea. I, 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 you know, I talk about the kind of keeping up with the Joneses. And, and one of the most interesting things in, um, that comes out of the happiness economics literature for me is that our actual income doesn't have a huge imprint on our happiness. Our relative income, relative to the peer group that we're comparing ourselves to, does. And that is really weird. So kind of getting people to think about how do I measure progress? What does progress actually look like for me? And encouraging people to compare themselves to themselves last week and yesterday, and also think about how they're moving towards that big thinking goal that they would have set for themselves in chapter two. So, so Grace, you're not saying dump all your high achieving friends, are you? No, I think keep them around. <laughs> keep your high achieving friends around only because you want to learn from them, but you shouldn't be comparing your progress to them. Um, so, you know, high achieving friends are absolutely perfect to help you on your basic team journey for two reasons. Firstly, when you surround yourself with high achievers, you lift your game. Secondly, they probably have a good network, so you want to get up on that. But not to be comparing yourself to, because the problem is if you're somebody who does relative comparisons, and I, I've fallen into this trap myself at a couple of points in my life. If you're someone who does relative comparisons, there's always going to be somebody else who's doing better than you. So you, you're never done keeping up with the Joneses. So keep the high achievers around, not for comparing yourself to, but for, for, from learning from them and actually also nobbling their network from time to time. <laughs> and, and, and just a quick shout out to Grace's network. She is not transactional in her networking. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not. I like, I like to think that I'm pretty generous um, and hopefully people in my network would agree with that. And actually, what I try to do these days is, is pay things forward as well, because, you know, I, 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 I am lucky to be surrounded by a lot of generous colleagues who, although from time to time they do ask me for favours, don't necessarily um, need them to be paid back when they do me one. And, you know, my, my attitude to it is always about paying, um, is, is, okay, this is somebody who can handle themselves, but there's somebody else coming up the track who looks like them or who looks like me or who looks like somebody else. So let, let, let's, let's give them a hand up and I kind of pause for a moment when they come along. 